now with first and ten at their 25-yard line. A thousand yard rushing year here. Here's Andre Stevenson. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. On the tackle there, Zach Sealer out of Ferris State. Oh, 
So they had to run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Throwing Jones. Throw that side here. Completes the tackle to Siki. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. So back to back plays. Each get nothing. And that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. The strong button. in a good size hole here and a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. They'll run with Stevenson to the game. And now that's to speak on the play of a one-yard game up to the 15. That's time for them to be good teammates right here. What I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while, get at least two first downs, give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown.
Start of the second quarter, and it's the Patriots in control of the football. Here's a second and eight as they've got it as we resume action. Looking to throw on second down. Jones finding down here over the middle. That'll go for a gain of seven. And a believable third and a full yard to go. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and you can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head steam going. Pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25 yard line. Give him 15 yards on that one, and New England has a first down. And Charles, you look at this offense, their struggles moving the ball well documented. Dead last in the NFL in first downs, but signs of life there. Yeah, and you and I do, I think, a really good job of respecting the game and respecting the teams. And this gets in a position now where the fan base gets excited when they pick up a first down. They cheer almost like they picked up a touchdown. Second down at Stevenson. And he's going to take this one down to about the 23 yard line. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two yard gain. And this offense on third down today, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and eight. Looking to throw. Jones. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. Now Jones throwing on fourth down. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. The partners, if I were defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've got an excellent job. We know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Play action. Now it's Tua. Open man down field. It's Mario's goal. And they wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Down Tua. Escaping the pressure right. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here. This close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. A tough spot here, third and 15. On play action, here's Tua. This one complete to his front back in the backfield. And he'll get inside the 10, but he's short of the line he needed. The offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. Six points. You get down this DJ. 
Charles, you hate to settle for a field goal. They roll the dice on fourth down, really just hoping to get that first. But as it turns out, they take it all the way in the end zone. You mentioned that it's a little bit of a gamble there. Think about it this way. Most teams throw the ball in this situation in the NFL. So they really gamble with a running play. And boy, did it pay off. Pay dirt. Third time's a charm on the extra point as he gets this one to go. And that will make this a 19 point game. Jason Sanders is the kickoff for Miami. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. On oh, the return is Jones from the end zone. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you don't down... want to. We know, but well, let me finish. Okay, about that. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you just you called it. I think you just called it desperation time. I think <laughs> yes. you did. But let's face it, you mentioned this to me at a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating to use a boxing analogy. Here we go. 11, 11. Defense, 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 defense. Jones now from the gun on third down. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. They couldn't contain Deshaun Hand that time as he gets home for the sack. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. The offense going to stay out there. They've converted once, failed once. What can they do here on fourth down? They'll try and throw for it here. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Stevenson now on first and ten. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Here's Jones to throw on second down. On oh, the throw led him too much that time. It's incomplete. Well, this defense is certainly organized and playing off of each other because the rush is providing pressure and the coverage is forcing incompletions and capitalizing on mistakes. When you get every level on defense hitting at once, you get first half scores just like this one. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 31-yard line. On the draw, here's Jones to keep it. And now a fumble. The ball's out. And this ball recovered by the offense. But remember, they cannot advance it here in the final two minutes of the half. So this will be blown dead. And it'll come back to the spot of the fumble. The fumble on first down. Now here's second down. to throw. Jones. He'll get this out wide here to Elliott. And they will have a first down as they are definitely in field goal range now down at the 20-yard line. The Patriots into the red zone for the first time. First and 10 right at the 20. Operating from the gun. Jones. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. And when a team advances as far as they did, got over the 50-yard line, don't you think that drive deserved a better ending? I think he needs to get with his coaches on the sidelines, make some immediate adjustments, and that's what you do. You don't wait. You do it from series to series. Because drives like that, the end with a turnover, that's multiple times they picked him up already in this opening half. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports.
Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And this is secured by the Patriots. A gutsy call there. Yeggs at the locker room with a lead. Tried the onside kick. It didn't work. And you just wonder what the gain was there. They were already in the lead. They were in control of the game. They may have given momentum now to their opponent and maybe kick-started things going in the opposite direction. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. They keep on the ground with Elliott. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. First Again, it's Elliott. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Nice job there finding room to maneuver, and he worked his way into another first down. And look, they had great field position to start, but boy, they've done a nice job taking advantage of it. Now they're just hoping to cap it off. A first down carry by Elliott. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. A dump off to Elliott. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. And now they're in the hurry up. Third down, Elliott. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. Looking to throw. Jones got his tight end. That's complete. It's Henry. And the Patriots are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Now Elliott. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. Back to throw. Jones. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. This is third and goal. Still looking for the first points of the game. 21, 21, 21. They'll try and run Stevenson, and he is going to lose yardage here. The offense stays out there. A big challenge here from this far back, but they're going for it on fourth and goal. Looking to throw. Jones. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt, and the Dolphins' defense is able to hold. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. And his throw is going to be incomplete. These two teams, they met up earlier in the year, back in Week 2. And it was the Dolphins with a road victory, so they'll look for the sweep now here in Miami. On second down, a run by Achan. And some room for him there as he'll take this up to about the 15. And they're going to speed things up here. Off of play action, tongue of Iloa. And he's going to go down. Back in his own five-yard line, it's a sack. No sign of Tua departing. Fourth down. They're going for it. They're going for it. Here's Tua with it. Got a man. It's Waddle complete. And he will have the Dolphins first down. And they convert in style right there. A big play on fourth and long. Tua sets up to pass it. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Jawan Bentley, the one to get in and finish off the play. 
Well, Parker, I would say just avoid play action, but that's not just been the problem. This defense, they've been getting pressure on all types of pass plays and really piling up the sacks in this contest. Meanwhile, to his throw, caught by his receiver, Hill. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. Here's Tonga by Loa on first and 10. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Third quarter from Miami. This is second and ten. They'll run right side with Mostert. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. It's been a pretty long drive. This will be play number nine. And they need ten yards out of it on third. Two are going to throw. That's complete to Mostert out of the backfield. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 44-yard line. From the gun, a run with Mostert. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Once again, it's Mostert. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. And that one incomplete. They try to sneak in a deep ball with the clock running down. But to no avail as time will expire on this third quarter of play. Back now in Miami. As we've got the final quarter upon us, we get ready to start the fourth. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and right, go, go for it here on fourth. All right, tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the Michigan man, Jabril Peppers. And a terrific return as he brings this one all the way back to the 30. So first and 10 now from the 30. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. That's a really nice, tough run inside. And they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Here we go. Third down here, Stevenson. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. Desperation time now. Here's Jones. He'll get this to his tight end, Gesicki. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. But no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Here's Stevenson. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Ramondre Stevenson. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Patriots are finally on the board here in the fourth quarter. Extra point by Ryland up and good. And they're able to cut this deficit down to 12. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. set up with good field position here as he gets this up over the 40-yard line. At some point, we're going to get it through our heads. Special teams, special teams, special teams. The spark that often wins games. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. 
Well, don't look now, but they've got a little bit of a battle on their hands again. Back to a two-score game, the interception that led to a touchdown. You'd have to think they're a little more careful here if they if they do indeed try to throw the football. Yeah, and I was a little surprised by the last throw. You know, that type of throw with this type of a game, I'm going to be very careful about it. Maybe the only throw you make is maybe a toss to your half halfback or something <laughs> like that. Otherwise, take care of the thing and finish this bad boy off. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Two and out on first down. Got a man here, it's Wilson. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. Going right back to Wilson. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. Two and a throw again. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Tyreek Hill with career touchdown number 75. And the Dolphins are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and that will make this a 19-point game. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Here's Jones to bring it out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And you hate to see this for them, but they're looking at yet another loss to begin this season. Things really going from bad to worse as they trail here starting this drive first and 10 in the fourth quarter. Stevenson gets it again on second down. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. If you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Here we go. 11, 11. And they'll run the toss here with Stevenson. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Patriots come up empty on fourth down, and the Dolphins get the football in great field position. Now HN on first and ten. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Looking to pass to him. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Touchdown. Durham Smythe, a 15-yard touchdown ground. And the Dolphins are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. And a decisive advantage became even more decisive. They already had the win in hand, but they keep pressing the tempo, and they pile on with another touchdown reception. Would you consider that touchdown a reward to all the tight ends on their roster for their effort today? Not just running the routes, but all the time they spend in the trenches, laying down blocks, doing the little things, don't that often succeed. And for doing all of that, they definitely want one of their tight ends to get a touchdown to really seal this blowout. Oh, the return is Jones from the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Oh, my. 
New England with a first down as they begin the drive. It's now appearing that this losing streak is going to continue. You know, the coaching staff was confident that this was going to be the game to stem the tide, but that just has not been the case. Uh, he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Throwing Jones. Back to Elliott, and he's got him again. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here we go. 11, 11. Set. Now Jones. That one complete to Elliott. And they can't bring him down. And he's going to be out of bounds here all the way down inside the 10. A big play there for New England. 51 yards. 11, 11. Here's that. Up the middle, here's Elliott. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Here's second and goal, operating from the eight-yard line. It's a gain of a yard. Brings up second and goal. 21, 21, 21. He's not. Back to throw. Jones. And he'll go underneath here to Elliott. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. As they head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Third and goal, trying to make that scoreboard at least a little more respectable. 11, 11. 12, 12, 12. Looking to throw. Jones. Ball had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Here we go. 11, 11. 21, 21, 21. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Touchdown, Patriots. Kendrick Bourne, his first touchdown on the year. And the Pats are able to cut into that deficit. Ryland on for the extra point. And that'll make this a 19-point game. The kicking unit out for the Patriots as they send this one away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them. He's got a man complete. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And incomplete on the deep ball. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. So now third and ten, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. Here's Tua. He's got his running back out of the backfield. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Here's a first and ten at the 14-yard line. That one looks like he'll throw here. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. They're certainly not letting up on the pressure in this one. And oftentimes you hear this expression, all gas, no break from defenses. But in this case, is the offense still throwing the football up big in the fourth quarter. Tua setting up shop to throw again. And they'll get this on the screen to Mostert. And the Dolphins are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the four-yard line. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. 
Mostert will take this in for the Dolphin touchdown. And finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three down, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. Offense stay in put. They'll go for two. The two are going to try and throw for it. And he is into the end zone to bump the lead up two more. Personally, I'd rather see him kick the extra point there than to go for two, but it almost feels like there's a story within the story here. I mean, this isn't college. You know, size of victory, that matters in those games. Here, all you have to do is win by one point. That's all that you need. Instead, they go for it, get two. You got some pretty ticked off folks on the other sideline now. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Here's Jones to bring it out of the end zone. And he's going to get this across the 20 as he's out of bounds at the 23. The Pats at the line ready to go. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there, it's going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. One final shot. They'll look to throw. He's going to let it fly. And that is going to officially draw the curtain on this one as the last throw intercepted. Picked up by the shot Elliott. And the Dolphins are going to have it here as they'll start at their own seven. 